So I just checked into my Airbnb. It's super nice. <laughs> like, oh my God. <laughs> the first view, so they just have this window here. And this is the first view you get. So then I go to the private bathroom and this is the view. Like, are you kidding me? This is so nice. So I don't really have a plan for today, which is kind of odd for me. Um, I normally like to plan everything, but I might just wander the city today and do something, like have a plan tomorrow, because it's like really just so beautiful here, and I just want to like head out. This is the tiniest escalator I think I've ever seen. At least five escalators later, <laughs> almost there. That bell lasted about a minute long <laughs> and I didn't expect it. I was just taking pictures of everything and then it started. Um, I really love Siena. I highly recommend it as a place to visit. It's just beautiful in so many ways and I haven't even done any of the tourist stuff yet and it's just so beautiful here. This is my full day of exploring Siena. Um, I just walked through a public park here. Um, it's very beautiful, very medieval style. As you can see, the building behind me. Um, and now. I'm basically gonna do that. I'm just gonna do like a, my own walking tour of the city and um, eventually I'll end up by the Duomo, the most probably famous thing here. And I'll just film as I go. So they're having some kind of like market where you can buy clothes and bags and there's food. And now I just found this little pond with um, a swan and some big ducks, so, they're so cute. I just know swans can like, attack when they feel like it, so I'm not gonna get too close. Wow, birds freak me out, if I'm being honest with you. So here's all the um, stands set up. I started to walk along a brick fortress. It was used by foreign rulers as a military stronghold for the city, but since the end of the 18th century, it has been transformed into a public park. There's like this workout thing out here. <laughs> like there's just a bunch of like outside workout gear. So what did I decide to do? I hopped on the elliptical and I was like, I'm working out in Italy. Around every corner, there's something more beautiful. <laughs> um, the architecture, like the medieval style, I just love that so much. Um, it's everywhere. One of Siena, Italy's most famous squares 
is Piazza del Campo. It's a medieval square and its focal point is the Manja Tower. I purchased an OPA C pass for eight euros. The price does fluctuate depending on the time of your visit, but the max the price would ever be is 15 euros. And it includes a tour of Siena's cathedral complex. With the pass, I was able to view the Cathedral of Siena. It's a Romanesque and Gothic architecture. It's one of the most famous um, churches in Italy. Siena is definitely known for it, so it is something you should absolutely check out while you're here. One of the cathedral's most prized possessions is the marble mosaic inlay on the floor. This project began in the 14th century and was completed in the 1800s. They definitely take steps to preserve all of the mosaics. They are roped off most of the time, so you're not walking on them and causing further damage or anything. And really, I mean, it's just absolutely beautiful. The pass is only valid for three days from the date of purchase. So you're gonna wanna wait and purchase it when you get there. They say it takes about two hours to see everything. I think it probably took me about that long or maybe three hours. It really just depends on how you wanna explore at your own pace. With the pass, I was also able to check out the library inside of the cathedral, the museum on the opposite side, the crypt, and I was able to climb up and get this view of the cathedral and Siena. The museum houses a lot of great artwork and sculptures. There's the beautiful stained glass window in the background. And there's this work by Donatello called Madonna and Child with Four Cherubs. And it's really famous because it's Donatello. So there's a lot to check out at the museum. My favorite thing in the museum was this skull because how cool does this look? I love, um, if you haven't noticed, I love um, views of an entire city, like just seeing everything all at once from high points. And I don't even care how many steps it takes me to get there, I'll do it. <laughs> Thanks for watching my video about Siena, Italy. If you have any questions about Siena or Italy, about my trip, just leave a comment below. If you liked this video, feel free to leave a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.